federal fraud trial against Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes. A woman testified that her blood test wrongly told her she may have had HIV. KTVU investigative reporter Evan Cernofsky was in court for the testimony in a trial that is being watched by many around the world. Erin Tompkins testified Wednesday that she got a blood test from Theranos in 2015 at a Walgreens in Arizona. It came back showing she had HIV antibodies. But three subsequent blood tests from other companies showed the Theranos test was wrong. Her testimony was just one more example of the startling problems inside Theranos. The sensational trial against the company's founder, Elizabeth Holmes, has drawn a mixed bag of observers from day one. Gary Tidwell flew into the Bay Area from New York City. He's a senior advisor at EOSCO, a global organization of securities regulators. A smart person learns from his or her mistakes, but a wise person watches others and learns from their mistakes. He's been closely watching the testimony of San Francisco-based hedge fund manager Brian Grossman, who invested $96 million in Theranos. Grossman testified that Holmes made numerous false claims about Theranos' technology. He spent Wednesday under cross-examination from defense attorney Lance Wade, who pointed to email after email highlighting risks he was aware of, despite Holmes' alleged claims. For Tidwell, the lessons of Theranos are global in scale. The market is premised upon a level playing field and the, op and the market operates best when truth is out there. We've already heard from other deep-pocketed investors. Legal observers say they may not be sympathetic to jurors. It's my opinion that jurors will think you should have done your due diligence. It's your fault in part that you lost that kind of money. But as Tidwell points out, companies like Grossman's hold pension funds, and manipulation doesn't just come at a cost to millionaires and billionaires. Securities regulation is all about investor protection and market integrity, and those are both at issue here. Because if you have irregularities, such as what's alleged here going on in the market, then you don't have investor protection. And who's going to be trusting the market after this? The trial continues Thursday when journalist Roger Parloff is expected to testify. He wrote a glowing profile of Theranos for Fortune magazine, but he later had to correct it. At the federal courthouse in San Jose, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News.